about the momentum and the positioning as LPE will try to stop the momentum of Brand Esports with the single pick off as we reach into the land of dawn. Brand Esports onto the blue side and red for LPE. Rockheart, look at this might be possibly a 1 3 1 uh, setup, lane setup as well. Yeah. And uh, Cartesian Lusty will be easier to uh, clear out the orange buff as he picked up the Shield of Spirit instead of the Shield Unity. And to the bottom lane, we also have Flap TZ with the Paquito. So as Brand Esports, you want to maximize Carl TZ's jungle time. And if you are LPE, you want to maximize staying together and getting kills as early as possible. That is the only opening that you have. Otherwise, later on, obviously Carl TZ is going to have a field day. He's going to be able to assassinate heroes like the Claude. He's going to be able to assassinate heroes like, of course, the Popol and Koopa. The Popol and Koopa, right? so, yeah. That's your window. So, <laughs> Brenny Sports. Luckily, Carl TZ is not getting hunted down yet, <laughs> which is, again, a, a wasted opportunity if you ask me. Oh, talking about hunting down. LPE here, moving towards the bottom lane where Carl TZ is. But one thing that I saw here is, oh, Deadly Magic will be used to Rebo. Rebo trying to sidestep out, but he does have the shield there for this Chang O. Oh, but as, as I was saying, the triple average setup yeah, for LPE. That's, that's going to be a lot of gold later on in the early to mid game. Mm -hmm. That's their focus. Yeah. So one big fight here. Carl TZ, of course, has level four Tempest of Blades available for his blood. We'll go over to Bren despite that. And uh, that is a surgical start there for LPE since Jake the Dog, uh, their goal laner, the position one, or rather position two, is already going in with a, like an ultimate from, uh, from Carl TZ here. Did not connect with as BMO flickered it out. And the rest of LP is just waiting for Arvis level 4 to start things off as Aspect uh, Ultimate. The Deadly Magic is already on cooldown as the rest of Brand Esports now trying to converge near the turtle area. So interesting because uh, earlier we saw the, the attempts of LPE to assassinate Aspect, procs Deadly Magic, but he doesn't cast Poker Tricks right away. So he's waiting for the reaction. Oh, Flicker in into Divine Judgment. Where's the damage? There is the damage as Aspic will secure the kill here as Lusty getting another one in return. Real World Manipulation trapping Aspic inside the chessboard as Lusty moving forward trying to take down Jake the Dog. But Jake the Dog doesn't have the DHS yet as Bimo with the Popple Surprise did not connect onto Few. And Few will reply with a Void Crystal. Yep, and that's going to be basically just Bren Esports slowly but surely, again, picking the targets they can take. LPE, they have the hits. They have the tools to take care of this, right? They're already past level 4. They've got their ultimates. They can go for targets like they want to. But the problem is, again, Brand Esports not really presenting the opportunity as much as they can. Yeah, so it's all about control here for LPE as they're trying to get as much farm as they can since they knew that Carl TZ is already level 6 and uh, a little bit of behind for uh, for Aspect's level is currently sitting at level 5 as Lusty moving forward with the Shield Unity it will connect to Arves but Ryota is also there Yep, and again Lusty is going to be the one to watch out for here He's not as tanky as usual but again that's not a problem if the rest of your team, they're kind of juggling around and you get the big objective. Yep, and talking about objective, Turtle has been taken by Bren Esports. Carl TZ will be the ones going to secure it with the use of his Retribution as LPE now trying to stalk someone inside the base with the Void Crystal uh, providing information. Someone is there near the left side of the brushes of the middle lane of our LPE, but Bluff TZ still up against Jake the Dog, look at the items here. Almost got his uh, Demon Hunter Sword plus the Mana Boots as the middle lane. Real World Manipulation, it will connect to Arms. Arms will be locked down as Bimo will flicker out again. It's Ryota is kind of a little bit of a late in coming here. Missile Expert will not connect. And that is the call for LPE to disengage as Arms will respawn within the next two seconds. I think Rockheart, they're still looking for the opportunity for a Divine Judgment, but Bren Esports is not giving it them. It's funny because it's supposed to be LPE doing the assassinations, but Bren Esports are the one taking LPE by surprise each and every time. Mm. And that usually shouldn't happen. That's the thing about this lineup. Yeah, LPE here and Aspect will be securing this purple buff. Ryota with the so-called teamwork trying to get his big boy uh, big stacks. And Bren Esports still 
trying to be in their comfort zone as they converge to the top lane and LPE doing the mirror moves here, trying to catch out Rebo with the Crescent Moon, getting additional shield here, but here comes the Divine Judgment for ours, but the damage is enough, yes it is! As Aspect will secure the kill with his deadly magic, Riona also there in the middle lane trying to control the Lithu Wanderer, but Carl TZ is there, no way, Jose says Carl TZ. Oh, rather, it's, uh, no. it's, it's Riona! Yeah, it's Riona it. stole that! That's okay. absolutely fine. I mean, it's not super consequential at the same time. Uh -huh. It's great. It would have been great to have vision there for Brent because you know what? LPE likes to go for the surprise. You need as much vision as possible. Yeah. Which again, the vision is denied because they, they deny picked the Popol in Koopa. Yeah, that's true. And uh, also the uh, mana regeneration. Uh, on the hands of uh, on the hand of Car uh, Carl TZ is a good thing. He can just move around the map here, uh, not thinking about his energy. As LPE trying to secure, going for another bait play here. As Arbs flicker and the divine judgment is available. Flap TZ trying to get a little bit of close, but the main target will be Flap TZ. Okay, oh. red sanction. Pull back with the lightning bombs. But look at the ultimate there from Link from Carl TZ deleting Arbs there out of the way. But Ryota will also get the exchange kill. Rebo will go down as few and getting trapped inside the wall there. Carl TZ trying to get for a better aim. Lusty trying to absorb most of the damage. Missile expert will be dodged by Lusty and Carl TZ as Lusty will go down as well. Carl TZ standing by the smart logo as he's looking as their tower is now being eaten out by Koopa and LP now respond for another objective trying to stitch it out going for the top lane. That's a two for four there and Brand Esports lost a lot more than they could afford only leaving Carl TZ behind which might have been best case scenario for them but because of that LPE are now ahead in gold by a little bit which is saying something considering they've been behind for a big part of the game. Yep. And uh, look at the turtle here as Bren Esport the tone is welcome into straight to the wall. Deadly magic, but Flap TZ with the control and also with the sustainability, the lowered cooldown from the Tornus Welcome is enough as the top lane will be destroyed by LPE here. And the turtle has been taken up by Carl TZ, I believe. Yes, he is. Yes, he with a golden staff pickup for Jake the Dog. We're expecting a lot of hits once he uh, uses his blazing duet. Yeah, great timing on Flap TZ as well with the flicker. He bought a lot of time and also bought the, the cooldowns mm -hmm. of Aspect with the Deadly Magic. Baited it out, allowing the rest of Brand Esports to walk around on the bottom side of the map. Oh my goodness, talking about the bottom side of the map here, LPE still trying to go for another pick off. Arbs' Divine Judgment is already on cooldown as well as the Flicker as Ryota providing information for LPE. Yep, the rest of Bren is here, just go yep. to the bottom lane guys. We got you guys, it's on the red dark. You, you watch and you, uh, you hit. Huh? Yeah, you watch and you hit. huh? Okay, so I think this is it. Big team fight possibility for Bren. They are, they kind of can sense, right? Mm -hmm. They kind of sense that someone's on that bush and now it's going to be the fight. Oh, Jake the dog with the pull! Phew! This is enough, the shield will protect him, but that, not that much. As Carl TZ will secure another kill here. Phew will take another one in exchange. Flap TZ will take them out. Out the position for LPE. Three for one exchange. Got caught inside the choke point. The territory of Brand Esports. They says no. No way that you will camp in our base as they move forward and look for Another objective. I can think of a meme like, I ain't gonna lie, the guys on the first half right now, Brain Esports, is showing that the second half is a lot better. <laughs> it's a lot better. Just, not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. They had us in the first half. Oh yes, my. That, that death bush on the buff area was supposed to be a dead Brain Esports member. Yeah. They only lost one. Mm -hmm. And they got so much more. And that's why Brain is so good, right? Their counter engage is just off the charts. You try to go for them, you fail. You gotta be ready for the repercussions, and mm -hmm. they bite back hard. Yeah, and talking about batting hard there, Brand Esports just looking really strong when it comes to their team fight, and also look at the positionings as well. Lusty just hiding behind or hiding inside the brushes there, while LPE is also doing the same thing. But Ryota taking that a lot of damage there. Glowing one also been picked up by Rebo, so we're seeing a lot of burn possibility here based on the max HP as Jake the Dog starting things off, trying to uh, pull the Lord on Jake their side, rush. but he's taking oh. a lot of damage as well. Lusty, I think waiting for a good time to go in as well. He's getting scouting that information around the area, and we would not 
If there's no one there, good. If there's someone there, yeah, good luck. Because there's not really much we can do aside from Rebo's uh, Meteor Shower, obviously. And the real world manipulation. And we don't want to use our ultimates if it's not a big 5v5 team fight. Indeed. We only want to use these ults if we're sure that there's a target. Oh, he got hit by the Lethal Wanderer. Deadly magic has been applied oh, all of man. a sudden, but that, not that much damage as That's LP big. will disengage. That is huge there for Bren Esports. They baited out. Uh, they baited out a big chunk of damage from LPE because of that. And now, Brenny Sports looking a lot more confident. Goes for the chase on a BMO. BMO, though, not really gonna go for anything. He knows that I don't wanna force a fight here. LPE, the rest of them, they're getting ready to fight, to engage. They just wanna pick off the heaven, but that's just not gonna be the case here. Brenny Sports. When everyone's uh, when we don't see anyone on the map, here's the game plan, fellas. Don't show yourself. Just let LPE waste their time while our own jungler, Carl TZ, gets jungle minions. He gets a lot of gold, and LPE is just waiting on the bush. Could be a big five five here. If they want to go for it, real world goes down on the mid, only used to clear low member, low HP members here for LPE. But Ar that's only, that's only going to be arms. That's not a problem. And now, Carl TZ, while all that was happening, while all of that commotion was going on, Carl TZ is nearing level 15. Actually, he just hit level 15 with a Wind Talker locked in already. He's 2 0 and 4. He's very healthy on the itemization. Brand Esports, they are ready to fight. So I was saying, Carl TZ, he's 2 0 and 4. I think they could be. They could go. They could actually go for this soon. Yeah, as Blusty here starting things off, going for the shield unity. It will connect to BMO, but that not the right target though, since he's uh, really tanky with this and he can't deal that much damage. Flap TZ with a knockout strike starting things off. Oh, but look at Arms here trying to exchange his life for that nice pick off. Few will go down as Few was still able to secure one kill here as Aspic taking out Lusty. But look at here the bottom lane, or rather the bottom side of the screen. Ryota trying to push back Flap TZ and Rebo and LPE will secure a very good position near the Lord Cave. But uh, Flat is still not done yet. Looking for a knockout strike to Bemo. Oh. That the magic will be applied, but the poker tricks will not connect that much with the knockout from the Lord here. Flat is still trying to be annoying, trying to disrupt the take of LPE here. LPE almost half HP into the Lord here. Winter stretching will be connected or oh. will be purchased, but the Detonus will come. No one, no target right there. Scarl TZ will now jump in. Going oh. for the strike with Aspect. Trying with the, again with his mobility, able to run away from that. But maybe Major Shower, Flap TZ controlling two with another knockout strike, killing spree for call from Flap TZ. Again, the damage from the real world manipulation, the HP oh, of the Lord will take no, out of the Lord still by arms. Oh my goodness, what an exchange of skills, mechanics, and again, the minds of these oh, heroes man. right now. The damage from the Wrath Sanction and also the Lightning. Oh my god, the ring <laughs> of punishment. Oh my goodness, man. And the briefing just blew up. Oh, and the Lord with the assist on the Carl TZ didn't really clean up LPE, but they bought enough time for the rest of Red Esports to get in position. And this instant replay is brought to you by Oppo A94. Experience gaming at full speed with Oppo A94. Get yours now oh, for only 13. 999 look at this i want to see the uh, the ring of order steal there from uh, from arbs with his kaja flap tz oh my goodness i mean that was a baited out play brand looked so good but as i said no retry no retry ring of order last hit beautiful <laughs> there for arbs Nasty last hit there as LPE along with the Lord tried to push forward. Real world manipulation getting Arbs out of the way. 34 seconds as Carl TZ with his ultimate trying to get him. I was dishing a lot of damage. The blazing duet from Jake the dog still trying to catch El Rebo, but he BMI out as LPE will just go for the discipline. Get out of the way. We already had a pick off here, stopping the streak of Carl TZ. My, 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 how the tables have turned here for Bren Esports now on the defensive completely around their base. They're trying to maximize the use of those minions to be able to go for the push, but of course Bren does have pretty good AoE damage. So I don't think that they're going to be able to get anything done as of yet, but that's a great sign 
for LPE. I agree. Side of life for the side of the red. Yep, look at the net worth. 42.6 against 43.3. 15 to 12. And LPE. Oh, that's LPE here trying to stabilize their lead for a little bit. And look at the items here. Sky Guardian Helmet and Curse Helmet. Brute Force Breastplate plus the... Uh, Thunderbelt for uh, for Ryota, and I think it's slowly going for more of a uh, tanky with a little bit of annoyance here for 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 his Barretts, but yep. LPE and Bren Esports trying to go for that choke point and uh -huh. start things off. Sky uh, Void Crystal trying to force LPE away from that brush. Yeah, I like what Fuse is doing there again. Use those Void Crystals to spot out bushes that could be a possible death brush here for LPE. And we know that they have a lot of single target potential here mm -hmm. for the pickoff. So they need to capitalize on these. And again, Vision is going to be a lot more important in this later part of the game for Brenny Sports. Yep, and they're checking all the brushes really carefully here. And as you can see, uh, almost all of the brushes, BMO here, Got hit by the shield unity. Concussive blast will also connect, but the purple will be secured by Call TZ here. But the Ryota on the back lines flicker out for a few. Oh, and look low. at the damage here. Look at the DHS. BMI is available, but look at the damage from the knuckle strike. Call TZ will secure the kill on the Jake the dog as Lusty with the shield unity will secure the kill for BMO as well. Call TZ flying oh, in with the jumping technical aspect. He might be able to get the return kill. He will. It's the divine judgment. It's the divine glaive will be purchased. But look at Flap TZ here. You will you taking out our core hero, but you can run away from me. Again, missile expert will be used by Ryota, but that is not enough to control since four members of LPE has been picked up in exchange uh, for one hero for Bren Esports. 28 seconds to the sidelines for Call TZ. That's always why it's so fun to watch games with the link. You see the link flying. Anywhere that there's a low HP member, you know he's gonna go there, <laughs> and he did. Carl Easy done it beautifully as well. Oh, Briota inside the real world manipulation, just taking his precious time. Missile expert perfectly pushing back Flap TZ away from the main inhibitor as the rest of LPs now respond. And also, the bottom lane is already pushing in as the Lord will respawn. Yep, that is huge here. I definitely, we want to see a replay of that later on, but yes. I believe that it, is, it looks like Bren Esports is just on the cusp here. It looked like LPE was going to go for the big GG push. Mm -hmm. But again, Bren, they are just not... Uh, you, you're quite even on Bren. And yeah. when you're playing on even against Bren, it's, it's, they're going to be able to win team fights because they are so good at the sink. And they took out Jake the Dog as yeah. well. That's true. And Jake the Dog, that's the main priority for LPE. So they need to protect Jake the Dog every single time. Make sure that no one from Brand Esports will go into their box. And Jake the Dog is still trying to go for the Lord here as Lusty moving forward with the Shield Unity. Uh, able to hit on Arbs. Arbs here with the Lightning Bomb. Sith trying to get away, but there's no mobility and left anymore as Flap TZ will secure Arbs' kill. Jake the Dog with a Blazing Duet trying to go for Lusty. Taking a lot of damage here, Flap TZ as they take another one here. Or rather, I think that's the Koopa as Ryota with, a, with the Detona as well. Come oh, hitting no. two, but there's no much damage as Arbs has already been taken out. Jake the Dog, BMI outed of that clash at the team fight and Brent Esports, they will try to take down the Lord. I think that's possibly it, right? There's just no way that LPE is going to be able to contest this Lord at this point. So, mm -hmm. uh, but LPE, they yeah, should. They, it's improbable, but they should try, but yeah, that's not the plan here. Lord going over to Bren. Yeah, and uh, look at this. Another swing here for Bren Esports. As we look into the items, a lot of tankiness for, for, for Flap TZ here. And uh, Queen Swings and Brute Force Breastplate or one of the key items here for his Pajito. But we've seen the damage, man. Uh, well, I I've seen you playing Pajito before. Do you really want to go for these items? But he's really still hitting like a truck. It's yeah. like he, it feels like he uh, he has at least one or two core items as an attack at items, rather. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising. Sometimes it's going to take you by uh, by surprise. And I really like that when Pipakito players do that. So uh, this is one of the reasons also why LPE is just having a hard time. This Pipakito is just so deceptively powerful in terms of AoE. I agree. I agree. Completely agree there. As the Lord already marching in, Flap TZ, Arbs will be punished. And he doesn't have the immortality, so he'll be down for the count 56 seconds as LPE will try to defend their base. 
Two bubble traps have been popped out as BMO and also Riona. Where's oh. oh, he canceled it out with the winter trenches. Hero is a player. Oh my god. Oh, that was grow. a bait on the Tona's welcome. The Tona's welcome indeed. And Carl TZ, Jake the Dog with the Blazing Duet trying to go for Carl TZ. Does have the BMI, but the damage is still not enough though. But look at the main inhibitor as uh, Flap TZ trying to juggle it out with the knockout strike. Lusty, Riora still moving forward here, but he's really tanky. The tankiness of those two heroes. Barrett and the Paquito just buying time for the creep wave to move in as Bren Esports are trying to reload again for another strike. 13 seconds on to Arves though, will that be enough? Another ultimate will be cancelled here and that's a signal to fight. Signal to fight indeed and BMO taking a lot of shots here. The Tempest of Blades will not connect that much but Jake the Dog taking a lot of damage, he needs to run out and, and he will. He will get out of that. Oh, oh almost! So with close. the glowing wand, he almost got killed there but with that reply, LPE took a kill there lusty 54 seconds down the count and we're already experiencing the uh, the 20 minute punishment whenever you kill or well, whenever you die and uh, look at this jake the dog and yeah on both of those occasions where lpe was on the brink of extinction in this game jake the dog was a guy who timed the blazing duet perfectly who was able to repel both pushes of Ren esports in that exchange and it's just difficult to deal with the claw if at this point mm -hmm. in the super late game even if you're a ling yeah i completely agree because again that that blazing duet will will still hit you if you're still on the at the at the top of the uh of the wall so yeah, I completely agree there. We've seen three members from Bren Esports absorbing the damage of the Blazing Duet. What more if he's able ha uh, if he is able to sustain those 10 stacks from the Art of Thievery? Yeah, and that we'll see a lot of that, especially those stacks. They're almost instant. Yeah. Uh, oh. Base, oh, another fight here. Lusty, knockout strike. BMO will surely go down in the hands of Rebo as the rest of Brand Esports already still moving forward, looking for more arms here with the Divine Judgment. Flat. The damage from, from Jake the Dog, but that will only pop the Immortality. No, he no, still survived even. that. Oh my goodness, Flap TZ. And the damage from Jake the Dog is still not enough, even after purchasing that Demon Hunter sword and Flap TZ just moving around with the, with the Pakel skin there. Oh my goodness, oh, man. but Brand Esports knew and understood that, okay, with that engagement, we're really confident to, see, well, to go in for the next strike. Yep, and again, this is going to be the big crux. This is the weakness of the LP lineup, the, the, slick, the slickness mm. of a Pajito. It's just very difficult to handle here. Yeah, it's really slicky. And uh, look at Lusty trying to check all the brushy Does he as want to? LPE, yeah. With the Cyclone Eye, now, now, I don't know if you want to go there. Just a little bit of, uh, he's trying to force them to go out, but is not fighting. Yeah, look at this, at the, the damage of uh, the Meteor Shower just completely gave the Lord to Bren Esports as LPE will now disengage from the top lane, trying to control the lane equilibrium. But do you think that was a, a wise choice, uh, Rockheart, that, uh, that LP did not contest that? Yeah, this is all or nothing for me, at least as a... As a guy who would want to make the shot calls, I would I would just want to go for that. Because yeah. that's something that Bren probably would not expect to. Mm. Um, I think so too. And just being playing passive in that one just, just gave them a big disadvantage. And this is the last hurrah of LPE as the Lord already went to the middle lane and the rest of Bren Esports jumping, starting things up with the real world manipulation. Blazing Duet, Jake the Dog got isolated, no! got knocked off by Flap TZ, and that's it. Yeah. BMO trying to run away, but the main focus this is the main inhibitor here. It's taking a lot of shots. There's no minions. There's no minions. And no LP minions. going for a strike back. He got punished. LT's, uh, uh, LPE still going for more aspect. Real low, but few here. With the deadly magic, the damage still not enough. As the next minion wave will go ahead and strike in. Call TZ trying to jump into the main inhibitor and taking the advantage that there's a lot of minions there. But Call TZ going for the lifesteal, going for the meteor shower, and that's it. 